rundown of the last review play that was ran that wasn't ran? The kind of explanation did you get? Uh, yeah, I, I think there's just miscommunication. I mean, we had run a play, and, and they were talking about reviewing a play that had happened before that play, and you can't do that. So that's what they told me. Have you ever been involved in a crazier game than that? When was the last? No, I haven't. I haven't. Pretty bizarre, but I thought our kids' effort was incredible the entire time. Their, their level of effort from start to finish, played their hearts out, and uh, found a way to win in an ugly game. When you talk about the defense, I mean, the physicality, the, the running the ball, just everything probably you wanted to see out of, out of them and Terrence Bullock. Yeah, it was, the, uh, I mean, it was the best defense performance I've been a part of since I've been a coach. I mean, we put them in bad spots all night offensively, and they kept stepping up and turning them over and getting stops against a talented offense with a really talented quarterback. So couldn't be more proud of that side of the ball. What would you say about the Davis coming in cold and winning the game? I mean, that's, that's what he's done. That's how he's approached it since you know, we made our decision. Um, he's, he's taking advantage of the reps, and he's a good player. I, I mean, he, he's a really good player, and I couldn't be more proud of the way he stepped up and came down and won the game for us. What's the status? He said he's okay. I think he just twisted his ankle or knee or something, but he, he was walking around and he felt good after the game. Uh, Marquez obviously with a touchdown catch. You know, that and then the block on the first touchdown. Uh, talk about his yeah, he, he plays every rep like it's his last, even in practice. And so you're happy to see a guy like that have success. Um, goes all summer and plays baseball and then comes back and, and is already in midseason form this early. So uh, he's an impressive young man. Yeah, they, they were gonna they were gonna try to take him away and, and let some other guys get open. And we had guys open. Uh, I felt the first half we had a chance to really get get up and, and run out on them, and we didn't make the plays. Coach, talk about the King Grant. I mean, uh, I think nothing still is to jump out of the out of the state. You kind of talk about his play and time for this. Yeah, he's one of the more explosive players I've I've been fortunate enough to coach, and he's. Uh, we try to get him the ball any way we can. He makes people miss in space, and he did that again tonight and had that great one-handed catch, which is a huge play for us. Coach, do you think that uh, as far as the Davis Webb game, do you think that was crucial? I mean, do you feel one without it? Yeah, I mean, he, we needed a quarterback to go in there and make plays, and he did. So that, that's big time. And like I said, to stay focused through all this and, and not get his head down and not pout and just come out and compete, I mean, that's what you're looking for. Did you talk about the downfield blocking of the wide receivers? It seemed like they were very selfless tonight. They always are. Uh, that, you know, there's there's a bunch of wide receivers that have made a bunch of plays here, but they, they work for each other. And Coach Cumbie, Coach Morris do a great job instilling that in them. And so all night on the perimeter, I thought they really blocked their hearts out. Coach, what was the difference between the defense in the first half and the second half? You shut them out in the first half and they scored the second Yeah, I thought they played just as well, if not better. You know, that's a talented offense with some really good playmakers. So to hold that team to 10 points with all the bad situations we put them in, is, it's an incredible feat. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm sick, but uh, just uh, had a go called and uh, was able to to get a beat on him and uh, keep him on my back shoulder and just a beautiful ball by Davis Webb and uh, you know those kind of balls you don't drop so uh, you know just had to make a play when it came my way. Uh, I would say thus far it was pretty big. Definitely, uh, it was good to you know get some momentum going back our way and you know being pushed back and needing to make a play at that point in time. Uh, you know, I was just glad that you know my number was caught and I was able to do that. Uh, he was a big spark. Uh, just simply, you know, he was prepared for the situation, and you know, it's just credit to his preparation to be able to come in there at that time, at that point in time of the game, uh, to be able to come in there and and do the job that he did. And uh, you know, there was no fall off, and definitely a spark for all of us, and uh, for him to control the game for us. Uh, just congestion, cold, all that type of stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is the Under Armour Alter Ego uh, Superman. So uh, it was nice that we got these. Uh, everybody's got them. So Under Armour, you know, hooked us up really nice this time. And, you know, you know it, was, it was nice to be able to rock, rock them. I uh, felt we came out fast. Uh, we, we pride ourselves, you know, trying to come out fast and, you know, get it going early. And uh, we were able to do that. But, you know, just after that, we were had a little fall off and weren't able to finish plays and just us stopping ourselves uh, with penalties and holding calls and things of that nature. So, uh, you know, kind of went into a funk for a little while and uh, definitely able to make plays, uh, you know, at the end of the game to close it out. Terrence, you were all over the field tonight. What was, uh, was this kind of the game that you felt like, man, that you've been looking for for the last two or three years just in your personal? 
Uh, not really. Uh, I want to give the credit to Coach Wally. You know, he just told me line up at certain spots. Him and Coach Smith. I feel like uh, the other ten guys on the field executed. And when it was when it was my turn to be called, I stepped up. And you know, I give the credit to the guys on defense and to my coaching staff. I was just the guy there to make the play. Uh, you know, all week Coach Wally said this game's on us. So we had that. Even last week, he sprinkled it in. You know, we had that from the beginning that we're going to come out, uh, play with kerosene, a body full of kerosene, and uh, play like we're on fire. How difficult is it to contain a guy like Boykin? Uh, he's a great athlete, uh, dual threat. So, you know, our D line, uh, props to them, Hyder and everyone that played. Uh, they really did a good job on him. He had a, a couple good runs, but. Uh, we bowed our neck when it came and make the stops. Excuse me. Uh, you know, uh, even talking to Coach Kingsbury after the game, he said this is the best defensive game he's seen in his coaching tenure. So, you know, as a defense, we're proud, but we celebrate this tonight. Next week, next week's Texas State. Uh, you know, with the offense, I felt like we moved the ball really well in the first half. We just really, you know, couldn't couldn't get into that end zone. Um, you know, we stopped ourselves a lot. You know, with penalties, with negative plays, and and that's something that we really need to work on. And that's something that we 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 can really uh, you know thrive on to be a better offense. And and you know, my performance, I felt like I could have you know made more plays in the second half. Uh, I felt like they really tried giving me the ball today, and. And, 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 you know, I didn't, I, from my personal standpoint, I didn't come through in the second half. You know, I know we were struggling. And, uh, you know, we, we needed those third down conversions, and, and they tried giving me the ball. And, and I know that I can make those plays, and I didn't make them. And that's something that I need to personally pick up on. And, and um, you know, it's just, a, it's just another game for me. Uh, I'm just going out there and playing as hard as I can, uh, you know, making the plays I can. And, and, um, and that's, that's why I say performance. I don't think there's, you know, we don't miss a beat with any player. I think we have plenty of players that can play any position at any, uh, you know, we have plenty of depth. And uh, I, I know Coach Kingsbury has really, you know, harped on that. If someone goes down, you know, we're not, we're not going to change the offense. We're going to run the same plays that we run. We're going to do the same things we do. And he really sparked us. And, you know, he, he's a guy that has a great quarterback IQ, and he knows what he's doing. And, you know, it's, it's not like he's a bad quarterback. You know, he, he's a great quarterback. He, he's got great accuracy. He's got great touch on the ball. And, and he, he knows how to check plays really well. And that's one thing that really helped us today. I felt like it was uh, pretty good tonight. You know, we were flying around trying to make plays everywhere. It, it was just fun to actually get out there and just come from all over the place. You know, we were all very excited out there today. Uh, we like that a lot, you know, just reinforces how we all trying to stick together, you know, and get out on that third down. So that that whole environment, the crowd getting loud with us, you know, just makes us feel like, yeah, we got to make this play right now and get off the field. How tough was it limiting uh, Once we just take over our, took care of our responsibilities, it wasn't too difficult. But, I mean, it got a little difficult towards the end when we got a little winded. You know, they was getting the calls in late. So that was the only big thing about it. But once we were finally settled in with the calls and able to line up, it was pretty. Uh, it was pretty good defense to uh, stop him. Oh, it helps us a lot, you know. We just try to set a standard every time we play, and I felt like we did a pretty good job tonight. It's just we just gotta uh, get better from here, you know. Keep making turnovers, causing uh, all kind of things to happen. So it's it's a good deal we got going here. You think that was the best defensive performance you've seen in Texas so far? Uh, I I'll say so. You know, with the past couple of years, we had a pretty good uh, amount of turnovers tonight. A lot of players had a lot of tackles, so I would say so, yeah. But I feel like we got uh, plenty to approve on. Did, uh, Coach Wally emphasize uh, aggression uh, with you guys, especially if you're playing this year. It's like you guys are really shooting the gaps and getting their tackles very confident in you. Yeah, we just uh, put that from the jump last week, you know, making sure we were aggressive all day because, I mean, we heard a lot of couple things from, you know, other teams talking about TCU, so. It was just making it a point to get after the ball a lot. And Coach Wild, he's always, his mind's on full attack, everything. So he's always at full speed. So with your coach like that, you got to play full speed every down.